India's drone ambitions just found a new home base, a full stack hub in Chennai that fuses design, R&D, certification and production. Our top story on front page tonight, Chennai-based Garuda Aerospace has inaugurated its new defence drone facility at Talambur, opened by Union Minister of State for Defence, Sanjay Seth. The new hub is more than just an assembly line. It represents a full ecosystem spanning design, R&D, incubation, certification and production designed to accelerate India's journey towards Atma Nirbhar Bharat in defence technology. During the launch, five advanced UAV systems were introduced. Avalanche Victim Drone, which basically is for high altitude rescue. Swarmadwan, for coordinated strike and surveillance. Jawan Drone, designed for frontline soldier support. Canister Dropping Drone, for battlefield payload deployment. Drony 2.0, an upgraded multi-purpose UAV serving both defence and civilian missions. But Garuda isn't just stopping there. Nope. The company announced a defence drone lab in collaboration with the 13 Jack rifles, Ladakh and Gwalior, bringing soldier requirements directly into the innovation cycle. Minister Sanjay Seth added this. This is hub or this hub is not just about manufacturing UAVs, it actually integrates academia, industry, and defense, creating a pipeline of innovation that safeguards our skies and empowers our armed forces. So proud of this. Garuda Aerospace, once known for its agricultural drones alone, is now positioning itself as the flag bearer of India's defense drone ecosystem. The facility in Chennai is not just an industrial milestone. It's actually a signal that India intends to compete with global leaders in tactical UAVs. Garuda Aerospace Defense Drone Facility? Well, it's not just a milestone for one company. It's actually a signal of where India's strategic capabilities are headed with homegrown UAVs now covering everything from disaster relief to battlefield readiness, India is reducing dependence on imports and building an ecosystem that integrates soldiers, academia and industry into one beautiful innovation pipeline. The transition from Kisan drones to combat ready UAVs shows how Indian startups can actually now scale grassroots innovation into national defence imperatives. And with the Chayu Defence Park on the horizon, Garuda isn't just positioning for contracts, it's actually aiming to make India a global benchmark in defence drone innovation. The real story is much bigger than drones. It's about whether India can actually translate indigenous tech into sustained military and industrial strength, reshaping its role in the global defence order. Finally, in defence, power accrues to those who control supply chains, software and skies. Build all three at home and India shifts from market to maker. On that.